What's up guys, this is a updated tutorial on how to install Bob Unleashed and on my previous video I showed you how to install Bob Unrestricted that was last year um, that's now defunct so ignore that video for those of you who don't know what Bob is it's kind of like a replacement to what Phoenix used to be different sections of media so like for movies or or shows or documentaries or cartoons so first thing you want to do is you want to scroll up here click on the settings the gear icon system settings make sure on your add-ons you want to tick unknown sources on click yes back up and then click on file manager now you want to add a new source click on none type in http kdil.co forward slash repo and then another forward slash click OK once that's done name it KDIL click OK and then OK again now you want to back up back up again scroll down to your add-ons open up the add-on browser icon up here install from zip file locate KDIL and then you want to install the zip file I've already installed it on here so it might not come up ok it came up so one last done, you want to install from respiratory, click OK. Now this KDIL respiratory has a ton of apps. Um, a lot of them I don't know whether they're good or not, so you might want to do a little bit of research before installing some of these apps. But this has the Bob Unleashed the most updated version of Bob Unleashed um, so ignore the the source code uh, for noobs and nerds that doesn't work anymore and uh, aftermathwizard.net that also doesn't work that will just give you the old respiratory for Bob Unrestricted so a lot of the tutorials online uh, they don't show you the updated version of how to install Bob Unleashed is just all the old Bob unrestricted source links. So we want to locate Bob Unleashed. As you can tell, there's just a ton of apps that you can install. don't seem to be in alphabetical order but only some of them do here we go this is the latest Bob Unleashed 1.0.11 click OK install Once that's installed, scroll back, back again.
a locate bulb and uh, video add-ons. Click OK. The initial startup will take a little while for it to load on all the links I guess. And here we go, this is the different sections on Bob. So you've got Bob's Kids, Her Place, Documentaries, these are just different categories. We want to scroll up to new releases. And these are seems to be all the new movie releases. I haven't really uh, looked at the other folders apart from shows. Uh, not too sure how Bob does with live TV. I'm pretty sure it has live TV on this uh, application. The good thing about Bob and Leash is that it's a one click sort of launch you don't have to click on different uh, links to try to get a movie to work you just click OK and then it will ask you whether you want it on HD or SD and then I guess it will search for the best link available it does take a while to load up compared to some of the other apps but it's generally like 9 times out of 10 reliable but like I said the uh, the search does take a little while a couple minutes and then it should just load up the, the movie straight away alright for some reason the foreigner kept giving me a bad quality version so I changed it to Dunkirk and that loaded up pretty fine a lot quicker than the foreigner for some reason so this is why it's always good to have like a, a different app so if one film doesn't work on one of these apps you can just try another one like Exodus or Genesis Reloaded but there you go this is working version of Bob Unleashed So I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you guys. Leave a like or a comment if you can or subscribe. Um, I'll see you again on another Cody tutorial.